Hello, everybody. Welcome into your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. Jeremy Crosby back in the hot seat and ready to bring you your headlines on this beautiful day. A little rain yesterday. Nice out today. A little bit cooler, though, moving forward. But 70s back to the weekend, so it's okay. We got that going for us. Something you may want to check out why the weather's nice is the bike trails uh, at Quarry Ridge uh, Mountain Bike Trails. They're, they're pretty cool. If you haven't checked this out, you should. And there's a new map for the Quarry Ridge uh, Mountain Bike uh, Trails that just dropped. Check it out. Beginner uh, Skills Loop it was recently added. is on the far left side of the map as seen here. Otherwise, head out to the Quarry Ridge uh, Mountain Biking uh, or I don't know if you call it a range or you call it trails. Nick's going to probably get on my case because he's a big mountain biking guy and he, he knows all this. He says it's pretty cool out there, so you should check it out too. And you can use this map to do so. Fitchburg uh, Center Farmer's Market is back uh, tomorrow for round two. And weather's looking a little bit better. Still a little bit cool out there. That's okay. At the Fitchburg uh, Center Farmer's Market, shoppers can find a host of Wisconsin grown products, fruits, flowers, cheeses, meats, baked goods, uh, pres uh, preserves, and gluten-free items every Thursday. From 3 to 6 p.m., the market uh, has on average over 25 vendors from southern Wisconsin. And you can watch for special events every third Thursday of each month. And we've got Strawberry Fest coming up uh, in June, uh, so we'll get excited for that. But again, tomorrow, May 9th, next one, 3 to 6 p.m. here uh, in Fitchburg. you got to check it out for sure. Also happening tomorrow, after you go to the farmer's market, you can check out Pollinator Palooza, exploring the world of pollinators. This is tomorrow, uh, and it's uh, starting at 6 p.m. at McKee Farms Park. Uh, you can uh, meet at the uh, McKee Farms Park Shelter to learn more about pollinators and how important they are to our ecosystem. Uh, you can come out, enjoy uh, some uh, great uh, presentations and uh, food as well. And then again, get to learn about those pollinators and more. 2930 Chapel Valley Road is where McKee Farms Park is and 6 to 7.30 p.m. We will be uh, taping this, so if you can't make it, we'll be rebroadcasting here on Fact TV for you uh, once we uh, get that processed. Slow down for wildlife. Uh, speaking of that wildlife, we're going to make sure you slow down uh, this time of year. Uh, those critters are on the move, yeah. It's that time of year where we start seeing wildlife uh, moving across our roadways, uh, maybe backyards, maybe sidewalk. You never know. If you come wild wildlife of any sort and you're able to slow down and pause to allow them to uh, pass safely, we certainly appreciate it. Wildlife crossing signs have been installed around the city where we see the most action, so to speak. So if you do see that wildlife or you see that sign, be on the lookout for wildlife. And while we're at it, why don't you look out for pedestrians, bikes, bicyclists, and uh, walkers, all of those. Make sure you stay safe out there. All right, uh, looking uh, for some mulch or compost. We got some for you. That's right. Fitchburg residents uh, can take advantage of the Fitchburg Recycling Drop-Off Site uh, and Fish Hatchery Road. That's 2373 South Fish Hatchery Road uh, for free. That's right. Free mulch and compost available, from Fitch available for Fitchburg residents. Compost is generated from uh, leaves and yard waste collected uh, at our drop-off site and can be used for soil containers or for your garden. The mulch is made from a variety of tree species pruned and removed uh, by city staff. Take a bucket full or a truck full. Residents are welcome to take as much as they need when it's open. That's Monday through Sunday during daylight hours. And finally, uh, calling all artists, Dane Arts, uh, Dane Arts calls for the 2025 uh, calendar and poster submissions. Dane Arts is now accepting those submissions uh, for the 25th edition of the annual arts calendar and poster, highlighting the wonderful and talented artists of Dane County. The theme for 2025 is Curious by Nature. And the deadline to apply for this is Friday, May 31st by 4 p.m. Original art uh, in all mediums will be considered, including professional photography, uh, uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional works. Applying artists must be in Dane County resident at the time of submitting. New artists who have not been selected for past cultural art publications are highly encouraged to submit their artwork. Works that are selected will be reflected the 2025 theme, unique beauty shots, history, and people of Dane County. Both can uh, represent the diversity of the Dane County cultural life. Other criteria include artist quality, balance, seasonal representation of Dane County, and market appeal. All images submitted will be considered for selection. 12 will be chosen for the calendar, with one that we chose for the poster. Get that in very quickly if you would like to submit your art. Have a great day, everybody.